Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top eight of the Tulsa, Oklahoma hyperspace trial here at the home of Team Covenant. My co-host for this round is... Matthew Carey. How's it going, everybody? It's Matthew Carey's of the Arch Alliance. Woo. I like you guys' name, man. Yeah. It, also, it, also, Gold Squadron Classic Champion, the first. Oh, man. That was that was a, a heck of a thing, Boba Gurry. I'm That's not right. certain you, how you, you could do it again. <laughs> You get to try again in November. Yeah. You get another chance. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start by breaking uh, breaking this down. Uh, Jake Sheely is flying Cassian Andor with Selfless, Leo Organa, and Pivot Wing. And also Braylon Stram with Crackshot. Wedge Antilles with the standard servo motor S-foils. And Big Starklighter with the same servo motor S-foils. Then Zach Bunn on the opposite side, the the king of, of Team Covenant, right? He's like he's like the guy. He is Team Covenant. What's he running today? Zach Bunn is running Suntir Fell with Predator, pretty standard, and also a shield upgrade, which uh, don't typically see that on him. Um, you got Pierce Sabak with Predator, Seismic Charges, and shield upgrade. And then you have the Dark Lord of the Sith himself, Darth Vader, with hate, fire control systems, and afterburners. All right, so you know Jake bringing uh, bringing a, a version of Rebel Beef that is starting to become a little more popular, right? Bringing uh, Biggs Dark Lighter into the mix, being able to spread that damage around. That means he's probably going to be staying in formation most of the time. Definitely. And then uh, Zach bringing some Rebel Aces. Now, if you haven't participated in our polls before, it's super easy. Go ahead. Who do you think is going to win this game? One for Jack, two for Zach. Hey, that rhymes. That was fun. <laughs> Very easy. We got uh, we got almost we got about 270 people watching on Twitch right now. Let's see if we can get uh, let's get 100 participants in the chat right now. No. What, what, what do you what do you think? Uh, what do you think? I've uh, had the we'll say the pleasure to fly against plenty of Rebel Beef, and uh, I particularly think this is one the hardest one to fly against okay. with Cassian with Selfless and uh, Biggs being able to pull damage away. So I'm gonna favor I'm gonna favor Jake. Yeah, I mean it's it's super good. You know, Zach's Zach's list is all about being squirrely, right? Yeah. Now he has he has the PS advantage on. Or, sorry, not PS. Initiative advantage <laughs> so for, for old habits. Old habits die hard um, on every ship except Wedge. But most likely, Jake's going to be keeping these guys in formation. So he's basically going to know by seeing the other three ships kind of where uh, Wedge is going to be going. Yeah. And you just see how with uh, with this Rebel Beef list, it just happens. You got a couple different fragile ships with Zack and... If one just happens to get in arc, it could really, really swing the game in Jake's favor. I do agree. In his flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I misspeak all the time. After playing, you you, you played in this tournament. How'd you end up? Uh, I went two and three, but, uh, you know, the, the last game I knew I wasn't in, so uh, just kind of played around with uh, it's, uh, Doug Howe from... Uh, the KC group yeah. and uh, had a lot of fun. Lost, but uh, plenty of fun. I, I'm flying Boba Gurry again, and Boba Gurry is. While I don't win, I still get tons of fun out of it. It's I enjoy X-wing when I'm flying that list. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's super squirrely. It's funny, you know. I actually little a confessional time here. So I'm usually the one at our store that plays something different than everybody else so that there's variety, right, yeah. at the store. And also for, for our League Night streams. Um, and every week somebody's flying Guri. I literally have never flown Guri. I've never put her ah. on the table. It just hasn't happened. I, she's a difficult ship to fly. Uh, in several of my matches, I was like, I know you don't know where she's going, but I also don't know where she's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Looks like uh, we might see some engagement next round. Uh, pretty soon, you know, uh, Zach choosing to go with Pierre Sabak. We've seen a lot of of Duchess yes. being chosen. I think Zach here going for uh, going for the more offensive Pierre Sabak, getting that additional die yeah. when he's not damaged. Seems good. Yeah, and he Pierre Sabak, unlike Countdown or Duchess, you can't ignore him flanking you. If mm -mm. if he's coming around, he's somebody you have to pay attention to. 
Yeah. And right now, I uh, just want to talk about engagement zones. You know, it seems like our, our first engagement is probably going to happen somewhere here. I'm kind of surprised that Zach isn't pulling. I mean, maybe he, maybe this is the plan, right? You alien rounds one bank, one hard, and you're trying to pull him into the rocks and get that uh, that seismic charge going on Pierce Sabak. Yeah. Uh, he does seem a little out of position for seismics, and I also feel like Vader is uh, a little out of position. I, I think the best he can get is somewhere around here with afterburners. He'll get up here. So he might get a shot, but uh, you really want to get a lot of guns on uh, on target at the same time. You really can't have Suntir and uh, Pierce Sabak just engage by themselves. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Braylon going down. A couple people in the chat asking, can't wait. Crazy Vulcan says, I can't wait for fuses. I think that's going to be an interesting mechanic. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm very curious about that, uh, particularly with, like, Nim, who can already hold it. Right. You know, so. <laughs> what if we're all Nim? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in... Obviously, the uh, the new uh, what's the name of it? The the electro proton bomb. That, oh my uh, goodness! It, I mean, it already comes with one fuse on it, but then you could drop you know another mm -hmm. fuse on top of that. It's I'm they they really seem to like bomb play, and they, they you know it's it's been lacking a little. Uh, I have a theory that that's why the Skurgs got the gunner slot, and maybe they didn't see the veteran turret gunner. Uh, play coming out but uh they they were trying to encourage you know bombardier skill bombardier and right well too hard from soon tier we'll i don't i really don't like sabak's positioning i love i love you zach man but that i used to back you sabak about to get so dead yeah definitely <laughs> it was like he's he's rolling only two dice that's uh the shame about the uh strikers mm -hmm. so he may lose his um Ability to use, uh, well, just pure box ability with just wedge firing. Yeah. I mean, may maybe the idea here is he's willing to sacrifice pure Sabak to try to maybe just get some better positioning here with uh, with the aces. Yeah. <laughs> Call it a little, a little close there. But he's, he's got it. Oh, I mean, I feel like he has to afterburners boost here. Otherwise, I don't think he has a shot. But we'll see what he does. Yeah. Looks like we got it. But, yeah, like you were saying with Sabak, it, he is the cheapest part of the list. So losing him isn't as dire as the two I6 pieces, which, to be fair, are going to be your, you know, your hardest, hardest hitting parts of the list. Mm -hmm. So uh, Zach tries the target lock there, and... Fails the lock? Did he put it down? <laughs> Not entirely sure. Chat says Sabak needs a pink st sticker to survive. <laughs> <laughs> the legend of number pink lives on. Yep. All right, looking at some of his options here. Going to Sabak. Wedge is going to be three on one. Ooh. Hit, hit. I mean, that's that's a way to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Sorry, three on two because of the range bonus. So two gets through. It was supposed to be a crit. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it flipped. Structural damage. Oof. That's. Now everybody <laughs> is wedge. <laughs> <laughs> you're a wedge and you're a wedge. Not a good start for Pierce Sabak there. Mm. Range three on Biggs. From Suntir, it looks mm -hmm. like. Getting it going. Ooh. Look at man. these these red hot yeah, ice. I know. Two evades. Biggs is like, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. I I'm, have no I, I have no problem. I'm used to taking one damage at a time. <laughs> yeah. Range three from Braylon, looks like. Mm-hmm. Braylon is stressed, has those re-rolls and a focus available. Braylon likes to pretend to be a mini Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, and is doing a great job of it. All right, two hits and a crit. Two oh. evades. Hey. Direct. Oh, takes two more. 
And down that, to one. Unfortunately, that does turn down, turn off Sabak's ability. Sabak gets to shoot. Range two on Biggs. You sp you spend it. I mean, you're, you're, not, yeah, you're probably you're, not going to survive. Yeah, you're dead. So. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Only one more. <laughs> Can Cassian close the door? Before we before Biggs get to mm, gets to close the door. Yeah. Three on two because of structural damage. It is range three. Hit crit. Yeah. Nadiz? Not today. Uh, that's the game for Sabak. All right, so Sumtir fell, and uh, and Vader. Can they? Do they have the ability to pull Zach into this game? I have hope for Vader, but where Sumtir is positioned right now, I feel like he's gonna see a whole lot of firepower come in his direction next turn, and if not. That's because Suntir has just bugged out, and I think that's still a win for Jaken in, in mm -hmm. this regard. I mean, what are we what are we doing here? Probably just we just turn Too everybody. Too hard with everybody. Right? Just we. Yeah. Maybe you have to bank with Cassian just because he's a big, big base. But I think it should fit. I mean, in, it's in an optimal order because Biggs will move first, so yeah. he's not in everybody's way, and then Cassian could probably do it. And yeah, it that's not a problem. All righty. So, and if soon tier bugs out, then everybody's guns on Vader. <laughs> All righty. I mean, I guess the if we want to talk about some tools that Zach does have available, um, Wedge, excuse me, Wedge is moving first, which means, you know, you got soon tier and Vader moving after everybody. He's going to get some information. Yes. But I think one of the issues is that he, he gained very little ground in that opening engagement. Yeah, just two shields on bigs is not a lot of progress. Nope. Big's doing his duty. Nobody shot at him. Nobody shot at anybody else. So it probably would have had the same effect. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close down the poll. Looks like Jake is favored. We'll see what happens. I've seen people come back from worse. Though I've seen a lot of games. So yeah, that's we'll very true. Very true. <laughs> we'll see what happens. You probably watch more, more games than any other X-Winger out there. We got 290 people watching on Twitch, YouTube. What, what are our our, uh, our numbers here? Have been not showing up on YouTube. They're updating people. Uh, they're updating updating people. Wow, I am tired. <laughs> Saying I'm making sentences that don't even don't even make any sense. They're doing updates on on YouTube. We'll make it so that all of the uh, information doesn't always come through. I'll take a peek here. Oh, of course, it's not going to show. Not even worth trying to dig through that. Thanks a lot, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, but we still have Twitch chat, chat sitting with us. Man, you're right. It right. is hard to talk. Yeah. Six games in. All right, here we go. Biggs. And it begins. There it is. <laughs> Hatem asking for a reset. 120 watching on YouTube. Thank you, Corwin, for letting me know. So we're sitting around 400. Thanks for hanging out with us this Sunday. We got three, total three games left here. We got the top eight, the top four, and the final. Here comes another two turn. Looks like we called that pretty, pretty mm -hmm. soundly. Now, what do we think, man, what is Vader going to do? Because you don't want to turn into that and get a bunch of range <laughs> ones. <laughs> I mean, like Vader's good, but yeah. he's not that good. Yeah. It's like a damage you'll take. Hate will pump you back up on the force force. Yeah, for sure, but it's one of those things where you don't you don't want yeah. to be to be using hate if you don't have to. It's one of those where if it happens great. Braylon oh, using the Rain, Rango Fett uh, correcting me here. It is Saturday. I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm so tired. I don't even know what day <laughs> it is, guys. Braylon used the uh, the trick where you fail a barrel roll to get the stress. So oh no! It's uh, <laughs> full mods on attack and defense. Lock on Vader. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Suntier calling the turn in here uh, from Jake. He won't be able to get a shot, but he can get repositioned for next turn. He's going to have to boost. Yeah, I think he boost. Boost to Good. the top of the board. Yep. But, you know, you say that, but then you still got Leia that will can just turn right on Suntier. Yep. Man. Zach going through the options. Now he's in a tough spot. Yeah. Losing a ship so early always, I know for me, always puts me on tilt. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. Have I coughed up this game? The game hasn't even started. There's the boost. What really feels bad is when you still have those seismic charges just sitting around. Mm -hmm. When you have a charge that you haven't used at all. Yes. Hmm. All right. The barrel roll actually might get a shot here. It's going to be close. Ooh, Vader coming in strong. Use the force. <laughs> <laughs> he might be able to afterburners boost right, but, I mean, that's still that close, and that only gets you out of Wedge's one arc. One arc, yeah. Hmm. And here it comes. There's the burners. Does it fit? Does not. Nope. Does not. Fails the boost. Still causes him the charge, though. So he is out of afterburners. Let's go ahead and get that crossed off on the overlay. Well, at least he got to use both charges. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you have to... I don't know, man. Uh, with Selfless on Braylon and with Biggs right there... It's, you're actually, you're actually kind of punished by the ATC on Vader's ability. Is it a must? Yeah, it's it does not say may. Oh. It says change a hit to a crit. I could be wrong. Just oh, you're right. While you perform a primary attack against a defender you have locked, roll an additional attack die and change one hit to a crit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Braylon could pull the crit. Biggs could pull a hit. All right, Zach looking looking at his uh, his options here. Oh man, Invader sitting in, in bullseye for Braylon. Crack shots live. Yeah. First action is going to be locking Biggs. I think he uh, focused first, but uh, focus, either way, there you go. It's Vader. He He's got them care. both. All right, here we go. Wedge. Spending the lock. Three hits. Looks good. I mean, you spent you spend uh, force because you get it right back. <laughs> yep. Hate triggers. He's only gonna lose one shield there. Yeah. Best case scenario. Yeah, definitely. That could have been way worse. Especially you know range one from wedge. Oh man. Does he have? They're, they're checking soon to here. Oh. Looks like he's got it. Oh. Ooh. Feels bad. That doesn't help. Nope. Range one into bigs from Darth Vader. Uh, turn. Spends a lock. Here we go. Is he how aggressive is he going to be here? I mean, that, that's not even going to do damage. I mean, maybe one. He takes on Biggs. Yeah. Maybe. It, if you spend the force when he... Sh I mean, because you're going to be taking shots. Yeah. You get pumped back on force, and you got that focus to back you up. So it, spending the force might be the right choice here. He's leaning and spends one hit, hit, crit. Rolls an evade. Selfless to, to Cassian and takes one. Biggs doing what Biggs does, spreading that damage around. Braylon does have bullseye on Vader, so we'll probably see a crack shot here. Oh man. That seems good. Hit, hit, crit in the Vader. Well, he has yeah. to choose whether to spend or not. 
Spending the force. Yeah. Crack shot gets rid of one, takes a crit, still has shields up, right? I believe so. I mean, shields are gone. Here comes Cassian. Playing a little bit of operation here. District Foundry asking how many guys from the Arch Alliance came down. Uh, hit, hit, crit. Those red dice have been on fire for Jake. Uh, District Foundry, it was just me, uh, Matt Carey from Arch Alliance. Uh, we kind of split because some guys went to Indy. So it takes hit, crit, and then it's whole breach. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's well, basically uh, yeah. okay, blank. That's true. He he's, has one he, hole yeah, left. Yeah, it's one hole. And can Biggs close it out here? Spends the focus. Needs all symbols. Hey! Vader and didn't die. Wow. I mean, that is huge for Zach. You're saying there's a chance? <laughs> yes. There's a chance. Edward from New Mexico asking, next be it GSP giveaway, your red dice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm sure we got more than, a, more than a few lying around. Right. Guaranteed to give you 50% results. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I had the pleasure of playing against uh, Jake in my second round. And, man, Braylon, uh, when fo focus and stress is basically focus target lock and it's really good every time the shot came through it was always three hits so mm -hmm. i mean and you just got so many guns coming at you and you can spread the damage it is, is a really good list i've encountered a couple different versions of rebel beef but the one that can just keep wedge alive as long as he can and wedge can close he's oh, not yeah. Not a super strong ace, but when you get to the end and wedges the only I six around, he's great. Oh yeah, and then if you also got your enemy limping around a one two hole, that's you're like, true. You're like that's you just true. need one good shot. Yeah. I just need one good shot. Uh, is it lay time? People, I believe it people is. People calling for it. I believe it. Uh, Hype horns. Pew 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 pew. Which way do we think Cassian will do his rotation though? Probably uh, straight back. Do a one eighty. Yeah, or, I mean, he could just stay there, too. That's very true, because then he can keep Vader honest, you yeah. know? Leia, there it is. There it is. Pop, pop. The princess herself. Probably a 3K. From, oh, yeah, Cassian's first. He's going to stop. There you go. Takes the focus. Good call. Kind of surprised we didn't get the uh, coordinate here, but it works. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Probably, I mean, it's probably a talent roll yeah, from Biggs. Talent roll left, definitely. I would target lock, but focus is just as good. Takes the focus. Oh, my 2K. I was expecting the one talent. But he fit it in there. Yeah. Next level. My name is Jake Sheely, and I got an eye of a god. Oh, and he uh, he's going to barrel roll. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Just, now he's, he's spreading those arcs out, using that ability. Oh, he's failing it. All right. You could potentially, if Vader went slow, you could, you know, deny actions with the bump. And if Vader went fast, he's you're shooting in his butt. Mm-hmm. And there's the K-turn from Wedge. Vader doesn't want to be here. This is bad. This is a sad, sad panda. <laughs> yeah, but the other option is, like, if he goes slow, he's right there. And you're range one of this little X-Wing right here. And that's not a good spot either. No. And you've burnt your afterburners. I don't really know. Nice block there from Cassian. Yep. Three bank. That's what I heard. Yep. Three bank away. Trying... Trying to get some space from Wedge. And you burnt your afterburners, so you can't use that to hightail out of there. No shot either. But you can't see. I mean, 
your your options are sit range one of Braylon, who's got focus target lock effectively, or barrel roll into Biggs. Yep. To avoid Braylon's arc. I think. <laughs> I think that's the call. I think you do barrel roll towards you Biggs. You do, but you're just not happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> he threw down his stress. What was that about? Oh, he's doing he, this. The linked action? Yeah. Conserving force, I guess. I mean, I don't have much hope for Vader here. He's, uh, looks like Wedge has him and Biggs. Yeah. The uh, trench run friends. So Vader has three force. No. Yes. Yes, he does. He has three yeah. force available. Mm. What? In arc, range, range three. And obstructed. Yeah. Vader has a chance. He's going to get four dice. Yeah. Not spending the lock it was a bad roll. Sorry, they had the dice cam off because they had a bunch of stuff in it. Okay. It's rough. Oh, but that's... He, he's spend, fine. This is fine. the force, yeah. Right, not the force, the focus. The, the super force. <laughs> okay. Braylon, range two at Soontier. Oh, and... The fortunate thing for Jake here as well is that Suntir was blocked to where he couldn't get his focus. Ooh. Gone. Suntir's just gone. One shot. Poof. Man. Man. This is a rough game for Zach. And and Zach, Zach admitting, we actually can hear the table audio. He goes, you know, the dice aren't helping, but he, he's agreeing that he's yeah. not played very well. Suntir actually lived because he had that shield, shield upgrade. upgrade. You're right. I got excited. Has one hole left. Sorry about that. Biggs under Raider. Range one. Four dice. Two. He's got to pray. Oh. Got it. Oh. Vader doesn't get out of it. Done in by a lowly I-5 that I think canonically he got rid of. <laughs> Do you remember me? This is revenge. It's revenge. It's reverse cannon. All right. One hole Suter fell yeah. versus the world. Well, Dion, do you think he could make it? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you sloop here with, with Suter. I mean. If you sloop, that could give you the uh, Could give you the bullseye. bullseye. But uh, Jake right there admitting that he's playing the most overpowered list in the game right now. Right. But I think I think the problem really came down to Zach choosing to basically set up the joust. It was a modified yeah. joust, but that's yeah. exactly what it was, right? Yeah. That and the initial the initial engagement was just two ships on mm -hmm. four, and mm, that hurts. I want to remind you guys that even though this game might end a little bit short, we do have giveaways after the top eight, and we have our top four, and of course the final. Isofane, five forward off the board. <laughs> <laughs> For honor. Yeah, lose your own way. <laughs> and you know, these these type of games do happen, even in the top cut, you know, yeah. it's it's been it's been a long day. This is round six for Zach on the, on today. Actually I think Jake I'm not sure if Jake played in day one A or day one B. Uh, he played. Uh, he played today. He so, played today. Yeah. All right. So this yeah. is both. This is round six for both of them. All right, Cassian, two turn. Hmm. Coordinate time. Coordinating to wedge. Going to give him that target lock focus. Two bank from Biggs. Probably just dropping the focus here. Yeah, I'll focus up to. Oh. Oh, lock. 
Why not? Just in yeah. case. Just in case. Soon Tier gets away. One forward focus. Fail a barrel roll. Yep. <laughs> to either direction. Which one do you want to fail? Going to the left. Fails. I know that some people like don't like the mechanic, but honestly, yeah. these the two B wings, Ten and Braylon, are the, really the only ones that benefit from this rule. Yeah, I agree. It, I mean, and they were trying to. A lot of people were coming up with uh, some some tricky things with composure that would have would have been nice, and uh, I think it I think it was the right choice to make. It's just we need to point Braylon just a little bit farther up so that she doesn't or he. It's a he, right? I think so. Yeah. Doesn't get full advantage. I guess Bert, you're right. Lulo is another one. The, yeah. the A wings. Yep. Hard two from soon here. Staring down the barrel of three ships. Yeah. yeah. You're going to focus? I would uh, evade and get your focus there. But two focuses is too focused. He's going, he's going for high variance. Yeah. <laughs> Spending the target lock on bigs. Which? Oh, sorry, Wedge, excuse me. Target lock focus, got three. And he's Good gone. game. Well, that that was a short one. You yeah. know, it, it happens. Zach obviously did really well today. He won, he was, uh, I think, four and one yeah, going into so. here. And thank you both gentlemen for playing. You know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's giveaway time. Giveaway time! What, what? That's Matt Carey. How's it been doing? <laughs> our giveaways are brought to you by our patrons. Thank you so much for everybody who has uh, done it and uh, gone to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Get awesome swag while supporting X-Wing content. All those gunboats. <laughs> That's right. And you get a gunboat when you subscribe. All, all the things. All righty. So, Zach. Excuse me, Zach. I'm, I just read Zach's name. Yeah. Sorry. Matt, uh, this is your first time helping me out. Y you are going to get to – you're going to get to choose – who wins the giveaways? I don't know if I can handle that responsibility. Well, listen, it's it's in your lap. It's no, here. I have to do it. Okay. You have, you have no choice. Which means that if people don't win, it's your fault. That's basically <laughs> that's basically how I why I do this. You're doing right? it to dodge blame. I got correct, you. Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. So um, you know, we ended a little short. We'll give away a couple extra things. M more more than I was planning for this round. It happens. Let's see what we got. Let's see. We'll we'll start with. We'll start with the Finch Dallo card. Ooh. All right. All you got to do is press roll it. Go ahead. Who's the winner? Scardell. Scardell, congratulations. If you win a giveaway, exclamation point win in the chat. We'll bring up a link. You fill out the form. You get it. On some mobile devices, the link doesn't work. Uh, there's some weird thing with Android. Try opening it in the web browser. On your phone if that doesn't work you might have to wait to get to a pc computer in order to get it done uh just so you be aware all right next one let's go ahead and do scorch ffg official scorch on one side and blue squadron rookie double-sided make it happen matt let's roll it again jedi Ni jedi knight errant there we go next one Gold Squadron, quick draw. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, she's saucy. <laughs> Do it. Right, rolling again. Druzod. There it is. Uh, let's let's get into some 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 uh, some fantastic memes here. All right, Dion Morallo. Morallo. If you haven't seen the Wisdom Teeth video, I highly suggest it. It's it, nice and short. It's beautiful though. <laughs> it's Dion, how you've never seen Dion before, <laughs> and probably will never see again. All right, make it happen. Hayabusa 547. Got it. All righty. Uh, do I have another one of those? I think it's hilarious when I give those away. People people freak out for them. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh, oh. I do. Another one. There you go. Another, another Dion Morallo. Dion. And we have Action BTRD. Boom. We got the blue screen pilot. 
Blue screen. Blue screen. Oh. <laughs> so this is from the, uh, so you know, like the the people who work on like, uh, so you got all their names here. You probably heard these some of these screen screen names. You got uh, Jordan. You got Rathios. Oh yeah. The guys who who a lot of the people who do like the community um, coding stuff. Yeah. They they have their own little group and they decided to come up with their cards. Blue. Apparently there's some like coding jokes in here. This one's pretty obvious, right? Blue screen yeah, blue of death. Screen but there's some more deep ones that I don't understand. Here we go. <laughs> Who's getting the blue screen pilot? And it goes to. Apostas. Uh, he was correcting me earlier. It's apostasis. Apostasis. Yeah, apostasis. Congratulations for the blue screen pilot. Next one. Uh, uh, sure, we'll do that one yep. after this one. Here we go. Loric. GSP Loric. Will he be viable after the points change? Maybe. Emergency geek. Emergency geek. And last but certainly not the least, we have. Jessica Pava, the old art from this hyperspace kit. Who's getting it? Okay, Yako 22. Got it. I saw you panic for a minute, and oh, yeah. then we're like, wait, this is okay. 